Can you describe the P-Track device and how it works? The P-Track device is used, it's, you know, you can take it, it's portable. It's used to measure ultra-fine particulate matter. And so uh, right now, currently, there's no legislation saying how, how much the levels of ultra-fine particulate matter should be at. Uh, but we know that over 5,000 is not that good because this measures uh, parts per cubic centimeter, which is about the size of a cube. So you don't want to see any of a sugar cube. You don't want to see any more than 5,000 outdoors because that is going into your body. Ultrafine particulate matter is so tiny that it's like you cannot see it. It's smaller than even your strand, the strand of your hair, like 60 times smaller than the strand of your hair. So we can't see it, but it's going into our body. It could go into our organs, our um, cells, our blood. So say for example, if I worked at say this McDonald's or the Shell, uh, working here would not be good for me if I stayed here all day, would it? No, long-term exposure to ultrafine particulate matter could negatively impact you by causing more asthma attacks or, other, or just other diseases like cardiovascular disease, uh, different issues like that. Uh, so standing right here, can you give us a reading of what's on the device? Of course. So right now um, it ranges from 24,000 and 50,000. When the trucks are passing by, it goes a little bit higher. This machine is pretty sensitive, so as a truck is passing by, it could really impact the, the reading. Uh, so it does range from 20, as you can see right now, 20,500. And if a uh, truck idles like it is right now, it's going up to 35,000. What should the number be under usually? Under 5,000 uh, outdoors and under 3,000 indoors. So we're not good. <laughs>